I know it's been a little while since I uh, last posted a video. I've been fairly busy with things other than radios lately. Although I uh, did manage to get this guy fixed this week. Didn't need too much work. It's a Zenith Royal 400. It was a lower cost alternative to the uh, Zenith Royal 500H of 1961. It's very similar to that radio, uh, and it shares the you know same audio output section and kind of unique uh, asymmetrical speaker. Although it has one less transistor and no uh, RF amplifier stage, although it really doesn't need it, uh, this this radio works great without it. I was able to pick up about uh, 30 stations with it at night. I've only replaced one capacitor in this particular set and uh, didn't even really 100% need that. What it did need was the uh, antenna reconnected. It seems to be a very common problem in this model that the uh, little paper mounting tab that holds the antenna to the chassis you know, rips. And that lets the antenna move around and uh, cause the antenna wires to break. And it had uh, one other common problem for Zenith sets of this vintage, a uh, cracked circuit board trace. So I repaired that and uh, fixed the antenna. And I just changed out one capacitor to, you know, see how far off of the uh, normal it was. I mean, it, it was 50% above uh, the value it was supposed to be. So the rest should probably be changed out soon, but it does work fine as it is. Alright, let's hear it play. The uh, local AM music stations on a uh, ad break, unfortunately. I'll try it again in a little bit after I show you what came with this little gift set here. Here's the original operating guide. There's not really all that much to this receiver, uh, being an AM only set. It has just two controls. set does have uh, civil defense marks. Those went away in 1963. At least that's when the system went away. You do see them appear on uh, some radios built after that time frame. Came with a 90 day warranty. Not much, but pretty similar to what you usually get these days. The original earphone was missing out of this set, but it did come with this uh, Channel Master brand universal replacement, which does work. And here's the leather case, which is uh, responsible for the damage to the front of this set and many others. You can see these dents here. It's a uh, split grain leather case. The Royal 500 came with a uh, top grain leather case. I've noticed that the uh, split grain leather actually holds up pretty well. You usually see it in fairly good shape, although the surface is, you know, a lot rougher than top grain cowhide. It's not as nice. Maybe a little hard to see down in there, but they didn't put any kind of covering over the, uh, you know, back of the metal buckle here. 
So if there's some weight on top of the set, you know, it'll it'll dig into the front. So I, I would say you don't want to store your uh, Royal 400 in the case if you have the case. Got the original leather strap for this guy too. This uh, case is actually put together from two different cases. For some reason, just this part, or actually no, it was the no, it was this part. Just this part was a uh, dry rotted. I had another Royal 400 case that I was able to transfer this over from. Thankfully, looks decent enough. And here's that other Royal 400. It's in some ways better and in some ways uh, worse than the other one. Uh, doesn't quite perform as well. It, it definitely could use some alignment work. I think the previous person messed around with it. I uh, tried to get it back to you know normal as best I could. You can see that this Zenith radio was a uh, quality built in America by highly skilled, well-paid American workers. This set was built at a time when uh, you know Japanese radios were really cutting into the American radio makers' businesses, and and many of them had already kind of gone under or were starting to go under. Took the screws out in advance. The uh, grill is pretty scraped up on this one, but the bronze colored uh, metallic sharpie is actually a reasonably close match to the original paint. I mean, as decent as it's going to get. It's better than having bare spots. Alright, so here's the chassis. If you've seen my uh, Royal 500H video, you notice it's very similar, uh, with the exception of you know this area up here, the RF section. The audio section is completely the same, and it's got the same enormous speaker that takes up you know the uh, pretty good part of the volume of the case and occupies this whole grill area. That's that's why this set sounds so good. It's got a nice metal uh, open frame tuning capacitor, something you don't see on Japanese sets generally. And here's the uh, back cover. You can see batteries never leaked in this one. So it's in pretty nice shape. The only real uh, issue besides the grill on this one was that there uh, were two chips out of the top. Or I guess really bad cracks. I was able to semi-decently repair them. Not exactly invisible, but eh, better than it was. The last letter of the model number is the the uh, color. I'm not sure why uh, Y is black and J is brown, but anyway. Uh, well, that's all there is to show for this nice little gift set. I had to repair the gift box too. It was busted uh, apart in the corners. I just used uh, regular Elmer's glue to put that back together. Works pretty well on cardboard and paper items. Alright, thanks for watching.